So now that I've applied the period blood to my face Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Molly here in case you didn't know So today as you can tell by the title, I have a very very interesting video So I'm just gonna go and grab my diva cut So I read up on the period blood facial and it's supposed to make your skin smoother and look more youthful It's like meant to unlock the fountain of youth it's meant to clear acne and hyperpigmentation and whatnot. And so I just thought, I mean, I have a period every month. Like, I'm just wasting all of this good skincare. So this month, I am now on my period. So I'm going to be trying out the period blood facial. So the first thing I'm going to do is just grab any mug, any mug you can find. And basically, I'm just going to go to the toilet and um, put some blood inside it. Okay, now that I've got a generous amount of blood in my cup, I'm just going to grab this Real Techniques um, face mask brush and just... You didn't actually think I was going to put period blood on my face. Where they do that at? Who does that? I need to know. Why is that a thing? Why am I on the internet seeing people doing period blood facials? Today I'm here to offer you a really good alternative and also show you a product that I've really really been enjoying. So this is the Ordinary AHA BHA Peeling Solution. So it's a 10 minute mask that you put on your face. Basically it exfoliates. I really 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 enjoy this treatment so I'm going to show you guys how I use it and the effects it has on my skin. So you can decide whether it's something you want to try out for yourself. So with this treatment, as it's an exfoliant, a chemical exfoliant that is, and it contains quite a few acids, I'm going to make sure I do not get it in my... Do not get it in my under eye, kind of eye contour area, because this is one of the most sensitive parts of your face. And you can get it in this area, but if you tend to have a very sensitive kind of mouth area, I would advise you to maybe avoid this area as well so it comes in a bottle with a little dropper which is so convenient I feel like I could have fooled you and I'm just gonna drop some on my face tell me that doesn't look like blood <laughs> we now need to just use our hands to rub it in And now we're just going to leave this to dry and kind of settle into the face for 10 minutes. You probably shouldn't leave it on for more than 10 minutes because it is quite a strong mask. Um, and in that 10 minutes you might feel a slight kind of stinging, a little bit of irritation but it's not, it's not really a big deal. Honestly, your face will feel fine afterwards. So unless you have sensitive, like really sensitive skin, I would advise you not to use this because it is a little bit aggressive. I think it's a very good product. This has been on my face for a lot longer than 10 minutes, I'm not gonna lie. I got carried away, I was doing my laundry, I started editing, like I was just doing a lot. It's been on for about 20 minutes, which is actually quite bad, I should go and take it off. So I'm just gonna go and take off this mask and then I'll come back and show you what my skin is looking like afterwards. Okay, so I've removed that concoction from my face and then I've gone ahead I've cleansed my skin with the Simply Beautiful Collections Collagen Cleanser and then moisturise using the Lumen Glow Boost which contains hyaluronic acid which is really really good for absorbing your moisturiser and for the moisturiser I use the Clinique Moisture Surge followed by the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream because I just really like that combination together and I popped some Dr. Popo on my lips because that is my favourite lip moisturiser now we've gotten through all of that I just want to show you guys my skin so please don't get me wrong I'm not saying my skin is the best my skin is far from the best but what I just want to show you is the fact that my skin is so smooth and this it, this mask has actually had a really really good effect on the skin so I have a very very textured skin type like you can see all the tiny little bumps on it um, something irritated my skin it was a hair remover it irritated my skin and it seems to have traveled upwards but yeah it has helped reduce the texture from that rash that I've come out with 
Also, I feel like it has tightened and kind of firmed my skin as well. And it's exfoliated, it's removed all of those dead skin cells that were on my face. Now my face just feels so smooth to the touch. And like, there's no bumps on my nose. My nose actually feels really, really nice and tight. So with prolonged use, so about two to three times a week for a few months, I would actually see a redu reduction in my dark marks, which I think is so cool. One of the my pet peeves about my own face, because I mean we all have pet peeves about our own faces, is my dark spots. Like my dark spots are everywhere and they're so abundant and it stresses me out so much. But I've learned to accept them. I mean if someone was offering to help me get rid of them, I'ma still get rid of them. But you know, you accept it if you need to accept it. But if you don't need to accept it, you gotta go. So that is basically the end of me testing the period blood face mask um i actually really 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 like this product i've had it for a little while and i use it regularly and i really really enjoy the effect it's had on my skin it's just made my skin so much better it's a lot less textured than it was due to me using this mask i feel like the traditional exfoliators such as like the micro beads the little plastic beads and stuff are just really really outdated i think it's time for us to kind of move our skincare onto the next level actually focus on the things we really need so chemical exfoliation i feel like is a better alternative and it's a lot less abrasive because micro beads can actually cause physical harm to your skin like it can cause like grooves and stuff depending on how like rough you are with the um exfoliation procedure <laughs> But the chemical exfoliant, put it on your face for 10 minutes, don't need to do much and then wipe, wash it off and your dead skin cells have reduced massively. It's just, I really, I think it's a really, really good alternative and I feel like it actually has better effects in my personal opinion because I am an avid micro bead user. There's this um, face wash from Exuviance UK. It's the best face wash I've ever experienced in my life. Um, a microdermabrasion face wash it is such a good face wash but I feel like this mask does a very very similar thing it's just a lot less aggressive although after using that face wash I'm not gonna lie to you my skin is glowing like glowing by itself it's, it's, it's crazy that face wash is I need to find it and show you guys because it's actually a life-changing face wash so I hope you found this video really really informative I hope you enjoyed it I hope no one got offended by the fact that I said I was gonna use period blood and then do use period blood because let's be real I don't think I would put my period blood on my face I not mine not anyone else's period blood is for the vagina and then to be flushed away it is not to be placed on the face i mean if you choose to put period blood on your face that's your personal choice i personally wouldn't do it like i mentioned i don't think many of the people i know would personally do it but if that's what you do you do you. before you go i would really really appreciate if you could like comment and subscribe and especially share this video because it would really really help me out i am trying to grow my channel not because i'm trying to increase my YouTube paycheck or anything. I feel like I just need to be really real for a second. It's not because I want to increase my paycheck or anything. It's because I just want to grow my audience. I want to speak and reach more people. It's not necessarily a monetary thing. I feel like I could I could live my life without making money off of YouTube. I just really, really want to expand my audience so that my words can reach more people because I feel like I think about a lot of things and I experience a lot of things that I want to share with the world so yeah that's why I'd appreciate if you could share this video with your friends I hope you enjoy the rest of the day or night wherever you are remember to always stay real and I will catch you in my next video bye guys